German aircraft came in all shapes and sizes during the Second World War. These planes would be painted in a variety of colours, including some in camouflage patterns. But the paint wasn't just confined to the main body. Some would feature markings on their nose cones. Have you ever wondered what these strange spiral patterns are on these Luftwaffe aircraft? Well, in today's video, we look at the spiral markings on German aircraft during World War II. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, hit that subscribe button. It's free and really helps the channel reach more history lovers like you. In a previous video on the channel, we covered the yellow markings on German aircraft during the war. If you've seen that, you'd be forgiven for thinking the spiral shapes on the front of Luftwaffe planes were there for the same reason, to identify friend from foe. But you'd be incorrect. The main reason for the swells on the nose cones was to protect the ground crew. The Second World War saw a huge uptake in aircraft of all kinds, and not just from the German perspective. The advancement of aviation at that time was incredible, and this meant that airfields across the world had to tackle the issue of dealing with multiple aircraft at once. Ground crews were vital to the German war machine, and it would take several men to get even the smallest fighter plane ready for takeoff. Fueling and arming them while the pilot was running through his checks, injuries and even deaths weren't out of the question. Prior to jet-powered engines, piston engines spun the huge propellers around, and with the crew eager to get their job done as quickly as possible so the plane could get airborne, there were bound to be mistakes. If someone wasn't paying attention and couldn't hear the engine going, possibly due to the aircraft having multiple engines or another aircraft being in close proximity, the crew could easily walk into the moving blades. So to combat this, spiral or swirl markings were painted on the nose cones. Firstly, these shapes grab your attention, and with that, the ground crew could then determine quickly if the propellers were moving or not. An additional reason was also during the startup procedure. Some engines required the blades to be spinning forwards before fuel could be added, and the engine started. So on a windy day, the propellers could spin in the wrong direction, so the spiral allowed for the maintenance crew to advise the pilot when he could begin the process. There's also some suggestion that these markings were added to scare off and avoid bird strikes. There's no historical data from that era to support if this actually had any impact on that issue. But in recent history, some commercial airlines do still add spirals and other similar shapes to their engines. For this, it's much the same reason, for the ground crew safety. But in the 1980s, a Japanese airline conducted a year-long study and found that with the spiral marks, bird strikes were significantly reduced. But back to the Second World War. Most of the German aircraft which featured this were the Messerschmitt ME109 and the Fokker Wolf 190. But they weren't the only ones. Many twin-engine aircraft also painted them on. Black and white was usually the main colour, but there were also yellow and black, and red and yellow versions. For the Allies, on the other hand, this never really caught on. Surely it was considered with the amount of shot down and captured German aircraft in their hands. But there doesn't seem to be too much evidence of it being widespread among the Allies. A small feature of German aircraft history, but still a very interesting one. What did you think of the spiral markings on German aircraft? Did you realise that was the reason they were there? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to expand your knowledge and join the growing Premier History community.